Well, Ukraine has launched what appears to be the biggest wave of airstrikes into Russia since the start of the war. Ukrainian drones targeted these six regions in Russian territory. Peskov city was the hardest hit. A large fire started at an airport where several military planes were also damaged. There were also attacks near Moscow that led to flights at several airports being suspended. Further south, there have been reports of drones being shot down in Bryansk, Kaluga, Oryol and Ryazan regions. These attacks went unusually deep into Russian territory and mark a major escalation in Ukraine's use of drone warfare. Robert Bride has more. This was one of the most intensive exchanges of missile and drone strikes so far in the war. Attack drones struck six regions inside Russia, with the most northerly target an airbase near the city of Peskov, where it's reported more than 20 drones were used, starting large fires. Four giant transport planes on the ground were hit, although the extent of the damage is disputed by both sides. Moscow says it downed many of the attacking drones, accusing Kyiv of targeting civilians, assisted by its Western backers. Ukrainian drone attacks on civilian objects confirm the terrorist essence of the Kyiv regime once again. It's clear that Ukrainian drones weren't able to fly those distances without assistance from Western satellite information. Russia has warned the strikes will not go unpunished. As is often the case, Ukraine hasn't confirmed it's behind these latest strikes, merely referring to them cryptically as accidents happening on Russian territory. But leaders in Kyiv say that air bases used to launch attacks on Ukrainian territory are legitimate targets. Just before daybreak Wednesday, much of Kyiv was awoken by a series of explosions as more than 40 Russian drones and missiles targeted the city in waves from all directions, with Ukraine claiming to have shot down nearly all of them. But there were casualties, with several people killed and injured in what's said to be the largest Russian attack in months, with every indication of more airstrikes from both sides to come. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Kyiv. Well, joining us live now from northern Ukraine is Ukrainian army captain Vladimir Omelyan. He was also the former minister of infrastructure of Ukraine. Uh, captain, Moscow is saying these are your drones and that they targeted civilians. What do you say to that? Uh, it, hello, I'm very happy to be with you. Thank you for having me. Uh, concerning uh, this particular situation, uh, we see that war is ongoing. And we didn't start this war, but definitely Ukraine will conclude this war by victory over Kremlin. What happened this night in six regions of Russia, it's only the beginning. And uh, whatever Russians say, our prime objects are military bases and uh, military uh, potential of Russian empire. So it's our prime importance to uh, conclude the uh, living and existing. So to be very clear, Captain, you're saying that these were your drones, that there will be more, and that you've been targeting military infrastructure? I think that uh, area of dominancy of Russia in uh, aviation and drones is over. Uh, Ukraine will not stand uh, the situation that only uh, we are under permanent Russian attacks. And Russian military, first of all, sh shall get used to the thought that they are under permanent, uh, that they are permanent target for Ukrainian militaries as well. Uh, Ukraine has been somewhat reluctant to take responsibility for, tar for well, targets and attacks inside. Um, inside Russia, especially around Moscow. I'm wondering if that's changing, especially now we're seeing this demonstration of clear long-range capability here. Uh, I wouldn't say that uh, we refrain from any kind of uh, attacks on Russian territory. And we always said that it's not only Ukrainian territory to be on war. The same will happen to Russia. And Russians brought war to Ukraine. We will bring it back. And frankly saying, I uh, see that drone industry is booming right now, mm. and we are coming 
uh, to new era of uh, war trends. Unfortunately, we are not also happy with that, but we were not the first one to start it. And uh, if we see that there is something important for us to be destroyed on Russian territory, we will do that. Well, let me ask you then, as you say we're entering a new phase of the war, would you say that Ukraine's counteroffensive strategy is yielding the results you were looking for? It's been going a little more slowly, perhaps, than, than many anticipated? Uh, it's not a Hollywood movie, and it takes blood and it takes lives. And definitely, we are not ready to sacrifice every life of our soldier. We would like to make them live. That's why that uh, it's not a blitzkrieg, uh, as Russians thought it will be, but it's successful. And you see that uh, since recently we break through this so-called uh, Surovikin uh, line or Russian tra 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 uh, Russian Tsar trenches, uh, which we, we call them sometimes, and uh, progress uh, of Ukrainian troops in the south is uh, visible. Uh, Captain, I understand uh, you were not a fighter when this war broke out. A lot has obviously changed since then. I know you have uh, family, children at home. How is the war now viewed by the people at home around Ukraine? Yes, it's a, it's a difficult challenge for us. And as our general commander uh, Zaluzhny once said, that war starts with prof uh, professional soldiers and ends with musician uh, managers or PR uh, specialists. Mm. It means that human power is not endless one. But mm. we do understand that uh, we should fight, and there is no alternative for us. And we fight for our kids, as you rightly said, for our families, which are behind uh, our backs. And this is the best motivation and this is the best morale for all the Ukrainian army to stand still and to fight Russians. Ukrainian army captain Vladimir Omelian there speaking to us from northern Ukraine. Thank you so much for joining us here on Al Jazeera, Captain. Great Thank to, to get the latest from you. Thank you.